Montessori International College is the largest Montessori school in Queensland. It offers education from birth to year 12. We chose this school after much research into all the different types of education on offer. Um, we were thrilled when we found a school of this calibre and this progressive nature that MIC is. I chose Montessori because I was looking for an all-rounded form of education that would help the child to develop physically, emotionally and academically. It has a feeling of tranquility as soon as you arrive here. Um, you feel it at peace, close to nature, and it doesn't feel necessarily like a traditional school environment. It feels like a nicer place to be. Montessori education is a global curriculum. You can go anywhere in the world and enter a Montessori environment and that environment will be familiar to a child and what, how the child learns doesn't change. For our children, we have seen from virtually the first day they arrived that they learn how to learn, they learn how to think, and they learn to love learning. They're interested in learning. Montessori teaching has the capacity to really tailor um, you know, the education to your child uh, and to your child's needs. It also is child-centred, so as opposed to it being adult-centred, the child is in the driver's seat, the child is constructing themselves through their learning. What I love about it is my child can learn at her own pace. Um, so for me what that means is there won't be gaps in her education because she won't be pushed ahead before she's ready. She also won't be kept back in areas uh, where she wants to move faster. So I love the fact that she um, will be the driver of her, her own learning. The children get excited about learning because everything they learn has context, everything they learn has meaning. Um, nothing is presented to them without a reason and therefore the children are able to take that, run with it and expand on it and they have the time to do that. There's depth in their learning. Because there are no standardised tests, she's not, her strengths and abilities aren't marked or reported or she's actually feeling those achievements and successes herself every day in her learning and so that in turn is building her self-esteem and her sense of self that's everything because if she's got a strong sense of self and a good self-esteem, well we all know how important that is to get through life. So parent education is fundamentally important to the Montessori program. So we offer parent education for parents who have little ones from birth to three, but that continues through primary school and especially into adolescence, there's parent educations. How do parents adjust to adolescence? How does our relationship with our young adolescent, our emerging adult, need to adjust to allow them to grow to who they need to be. The MIC teachers are highly educated. They often have multiple tertiary degrees and on top of those tertiary degrees they have their Montessori training. A Montessori teacher are with the children for three years, so they enter at three and they'll have the same teacher for the next three years so at six that teacher has really a deep knowledge of that child and where that child is at and who that child is and that knowledge is then passed on to the six to nine teacher and so on until they get to 12 to 15. Listening to the teachers talking I really understood that they got it, they, they really um, get the essence of the child and they really understand the child at a very deep level. He can choose what activity he does, at what time, at his own pace. Um, and I think he brings that home and brings that into his everyday life as well. In a Montessori environment, it's about the, it's about the environment, the materials, the love and respect a child is given. They're in the environment based on their cycle of development and not their age. Montessori has offered my child the opportunity to learn self-discipline and also self-initiative and a deep love of learning. So if you can inspire curiosity and nurture it, revere it, the child will learn.
I think the multi-age approach of Montessori gives a unique uh, twist to, to their education. So they learn not only to be uh, the younger person within a group and to learn from older peers and interact with older peers, but they also get an opportunity to be a mentor at the other end of that three-year period and to, to experience a group of people for a longer and extended period of time, including their teachers or, or their mentors. So I think that in itself lets them develop their emotional intelligence, lets them develop their independence and their ability to communicate with other people. I wanted them to feel involved in their education, not dictated to. I wanted them to feel um, that they had, that they were also responsible for their education and that it wasn't just left up to someone else. Um, and that they could then engage in a community that supported that because it's very difficult being you know, um, individually minded and responsible if you don't have that broader community support. At MIC we're a very close community and I guess one of the drivers for our college is that that term of it takes a village to raise a child. Montessori education is really about raising a child and so that connection we make with parents, the connection that parents have with our staff, the connection that the children have with the guides in the classroom is fundamental to the curriculum. You can't separate that from the curriculum. I love watching how the children grow over the years and also how the families migrate together within the community here. So often we have found that this style of education brings with it a community of like-minded people and I love being able to not only socialise but work for the community alongside people who have a similar mindset. We believe that um, the Montessori education offers them individuality as well as being part of a community and that, um, that that's a life education and that's what we wanted them to experience. So those relationships and that engagement and the participation is also important for our children to see. So we're role modelling how does a community work? Not only their class community but that bigger community. How does this community work? I believe that what's special about our Montessori school here on the Sunshine Coast is the fact that we are a living community that is continually growing and that the strength and the determination of the parents ensure that that community thrives. Montessori education prepares these children and young adults for real life. Our goal is a well-adjusted human being who can apply themselves to anything. Um, I studied at Montessori for 12 years and now I'm studying a Bachelor of Justice and Legal Studies at the University of the Sunshine Coast. Definitely love to send my kids to a Montessori environment. I, I, def I grew up in this environment and I think it's definitely changed me for the better so I would definitely send my kids to this school. The most prominent experience I've had with the Montessori education is seeing the person that my daughter has developed into. She's been with Montessori for 10 years now and um, she's just turned into such a well-balanced, wonderful person and it's just such a testament to this form of education. Look, I think the Montessori education has given the children a real sense of identity. The kids uh, from a very young age seem to be uh, comfortable in their own skin, they seem to know who they are, uh, which really allows them to have a sense of confidence. And I think that is um, one of the strong points of Montessori. Kids are very independent, they know how to adapt to a situation. It gives them that sense of confidence to, uh, to really go out and uh, self-motivate themselves, to go out and, you know, know who they are, know what they want to do, and then have the ability to go and, and, and make it happen. We believe one of the single most important things that a child can have is confidence, and not just in their childhood, but in their adult life. And the Montessori approach to independent learning, we think really instills that in our kids. What's been amazing with the Montessori approach is that you're asked to step back so that you're not directing their education, you're allowing them to take control of it. And when you step back, you see amazing things. You see what a child is capable of. And this is what it's all about, is our children growing up with a strong sense of self and a really high emotional intelligence. It's the holistic approach to education that I believe is right for every single child. The essence of the college is when you see our children in the environments and the way they learn. That's the true essence. 
the way they learn is so natural for them. And often with parents, that's what resonates. It's that, I wish I'd gone to a school like that. I wish I had that opportunity to learn in that way, to be creative, to be the person who is constructing themselves.